Hey everybody, today I'm going to play against Harpies and try to show you a strategy for dealing with it. Uh, Harpies' god power. I don't know if Harpies is a she or a it or a they or what, but we're going to try to, to beat them. So <clears throat> the problem with Harpies, of course, is that if you want to move only one space and there are spaces on the other side of it, um, you're going to slide to the edge of the board. So the way that I've tried to get around that is by intentionally only using uh, the very edges of the board to try to win. So the idea is to use uh, these corner squares. Well, not quite the corner squares. The square is one spot away from the corner squares because you can move back and forth between them um, and you're hitting the edge of the board each time. So you can just move one square and then stop. Um, so we're going to see if we can win the game using those squares. So in order to be able to use those squares, I'm going to set up my workers here and here. Um, and you'll see how that enables me to get to almost any of those eight squares that I want to, um, which everyone seems like it's going to be the most useful to me. So, okay, so Harpies is putting uh, their workers in the middle here and trying to kind of babysit my workers. Uh, I used that word in the last video too, but they're trying to trying to stay near to my workers. So let's see if I can stop that from happening as much as possible. I'm going to move up this way and hit the edge of the board on that side, and then build over here. So this is out of range of Harpies' worker, so that uh, it can't it can't hop up onto that block. But it can. Okay, interesting. It's going to build in the center there. So now that worker has moved away from this worker. So I'm going to see if I can now start building over on the left edge of the board and create multiple areas of the board where I have some threats. That can be a really good idea because then in order to cover both of your workers, it has to spread out uh, its workers as well. All right, so no one is, neither of Harpy's workers is dealing with my worker over here on the left, so I'm just going to keep building with this one and see what I can get done. So notice how I can move one space in that direction and just stop because I hit the edge of the board. And now I'm going to build here, so I can just move back and forth between these two um, these two spaces as much as I want and I never have to I never have to stop. Thinking about where I should maybe place the token here, um, I'm going to put it right here to just limit the mobility of this worker a little bit. See if that's helpful. All right, so it hops up. There we go. All right, I'm just going to keep building with this worker on the left. See what we can do. <clears throat> I see no reason not to continue doing this. Uh, if I can create threats faster, that's probably going to help me. All right, here we go. So now I've gotten up onto level two, and I also uh, have a level two where I can move. So this seems good. And actually, I don't see a way that, yeah, so I've blocked off this worker on the right and this worker on the left. Um, the only thing I could do is place a level three on this level two, so that doesn't seem particularly good. So I'm going to, uh, I think, just leave the token where it is and see what happens. How is it going to try to stop me? Let's see. All right, now, can I win is the question. Um, if, if I was able to block off this worker on the right from reaching the tower that my worker is currently on, then I could move over, build on the third level of the tower that I'm on right now, and win. So is there a way that I can set that up? Let's see. Maybe I do this, um, create a little blockade, and then... I guess I'll build here, because why not? Um, <clears throat> and do I put the token somewhere? I guess I have to leave the token where it is, because that's creating my blockade. So I'll just leave it where it is, and maybe I can win on the next turn. Let's see. <clears throat> it jumps down. And yeah, I think I actually win this game now. So if I move over like this, and then build a third level here, um, I've effectively blocked that. And so I don't, I don't think Harpies has a way to stop me. Um, of course, I have to leave the token where it is, otherwise there would be a way to stop me by moving this worker to that square. So I will leave the token where it is, <clears throat> and I should win on the next turn. Yep, here we go.
So yeah, that's the uh, the strategy that I've come up with for dealing with harpies. You build in those corner squares, and um, that way you can ferry or you move yourself back and forth between them, just moving one space at a time, building. Um, in this game, what I did is the same kind of thing that I've done in other games, which is just to try to get a worker in a corner by itself, kind of, away from harpies workers, um, and just build as fast as you can, see if you can set up a threat quickly before harpies has a chance to set up a threat of its own. Because um, it is it can be difficult to block Harpy's threats because you don't have uh, really great control over where your worker ends up if it's not in one of those squares on the edge of the board. So try to set up your own threats quickly um, before Harpy's has a chance to do anything. That is the strategy. I hope it's helpful in uh, any of your games against Harpy's. Uh, see you next week for another Santorini game, another video. All right, bye.